Aqua gang, 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 what it do you guys? It's your girl, Empress777 here today with a, a general message from my beautiful Aquarian souls, my Aqua gang in this thing. I hope you guys are doing super fantastic. I most certainly am. Holy angels and spirit guys, please come through. Give us exactly what it is that we need to know. In regards to my beautiful Aqua soul family, my Aqua gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. The messages, of course, are general, okay? Don't force anything to fit. Use your own intuition, your own discernment to guide you towards the messages here for you today and leave the rest. That's how it goes, okay? Cross watchers, you're also welcome if you happen to be dealing with an Aquarius. Just place yourself where you belong in the storyline. That's how that goes. We do have a few announcements, guys. Just a couple of things. Not too much, not too much. I'm not going to hold y'all for too long because we got a lot to unpack here. Um, we do have a TikTok now, you guys. I know I've, I've been seeing down in the comments for the last couple of weeks. You should have a TikTok. You should get a TikTok. You need a TikTok. We need a TikTok. We got it. Got it. Get it. Got it. Good. Um, it is complex with two X's and then Empress. So at complex Empress, I will put the actual at um, for the TikTok down below in the description box. So please go follow over there, you guys. Um, and let's tap into to our gang over there on that side. Okay, let's show, let's show them what it'd be like over there on that side. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right on in. But first, click the like button. Please do it, you guys. It is free. It's how people find us on the platform. And it is one of the easiest and free ways to help us grow. It is the best energetic donation that you could give. That's how people know that we exist on this platform. So click the like button. And I appreciate those of you who do it every single time. Shoot me a little comment down below. A little, hey, girl. Hey, let me know what you think about the new TikTok. Come in here. Okay, let, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I've already posted over there. So go ahead and engage. And let's link up on a different platform in a different sort of way. Okay. Um, also, if you have not already made it official, what, what, what are we doing? Huh? If you're new, I get it. If you're not, if you've been here before, girl, my guy, bruh, sis, ma'am, click that subscribe button, okay? And follow the TikTok, okay? We would love to have you join us. We are one big happy fam, bam. We cut up over here. I know I'm an acquired taste, baby. I get it. But we would love to have you. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. So let's go ahead and jump in. <laughs> You have triggered this person something awful. I don't know. I feel like they underestimated you, okay? I definitely feel like this person underestimated either how smart you are, how strong you are, or how confident you are, or all three. I heard their shadow is getting a ass whooping, okay? They're viewing it as a curse. You're, you're viewing it as a lovely gift. Like, here you go, bitch. Hold this, right? <laughs> very bold yeah I get this person was either pushing your boundaries they were doing something they were they were expecting or suspecting to get away with some kind of behavior here okay and I feel like you've hit them with the double whammy the una reverse the checkmate bitch on that ass this is the time to be joyous you may be fine you may be just fine but I am definitely hearing that somebody's shadow self is getting a pretty gnarly I don't even use that terminology. A pretty gnarly ass whooping. A swift kicking ass by karma. You are this person's karmic. Okay. So let's just spend a moment on that, right? In tarot, kar the notion of karmics can sometimes get skewed. We can all at one point in time be a person's karmic. It's not a good or a bad thing. It's just uh, when, you, when you're needing to learn this lesson thing, okay? When you're ready to learn this lesson, that is when the divine, boom, it can come by way of a person which happens to be your karmic. They're just here to teach you, learn you something. And boy, are you learning this person something crazy, okay? They almost feel like they need to go digging internally, okay, for some, like some soul searching, you are the most challenging lesson that this person has faced um, as of yet. For some of you, this person doesn't really get challenged by their romantic partners, okay? Their bad behavior doesn't get reprimanded. It doesn't get called out. And they most certainly don't get back what they're dishing out, right? So there's something surprising about your behavior or the way you're handling them or the way you will be handling them. Now, please keep in mind that my tarot is fluid, right? So that means... For me specifically, this could be 
something that is predictive of for the future, the near future, right? Next six months or so, next couple weeks or so. Or this could be something that is currently unraveling. You could be in the midst of the storm, right? The fall. Nah. Yeah. 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 <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I am not going to laugh, y'all. I'm not. I'm not. I will not do this. Who's laughing? Because it's not me. One of y'all must be laughing. See, they thought they was the main one. I heard, get Jesus on the main line. <laughs> so they may really feel like they are losing their marbles. Did you ghost this person? Did you uh, fall off the face of the earth? Did you leave without a word? Are you pulling back from this person? I don't get you doing it in a toxic manner. I get more than one warning. This person doesn't take heed to warnings because shit like this doesn't happen to them. We have main female or male. Gender, gender doesn't matter. This is just about energy. Somebody thought that they was the main one. That's in the reverse. We have house in the reverse as well. So they thought that they had something solid here. They thought that they could play all kinds of games. Okay. They thought that they would be able to slide once and then be able to figure skate all over your ass. Boundaries is a big thing. It's a big one here. Okay. They were very bold in their behavior. Perhaps this person gets away with this because of the physical attraction. Yeah. People normally like yearn for this person. People normally like um, get addicted to them. I want to know what you did. <laughs> I want to know what you did. They're, they're spiraling. They are losing their shit right now, you guys. They are losing their shit. They're like, I am high. I'm a high ranking ass bitch. I'm very valuable. Who the fuck do you think you are? Right? Like treating me like this. Okay. Okay. There's some kind of detachment. It could just be energetically. For some of you, it's an actual detachment. Okay. It has triggered some kind of abandonment wound. You're running. Okay. So what is going on? Look at all these cards. All Listen, ma'am, sir, bruh, sis, I need you to relax. I cannot do this. They're pulling card after card after card. They won't even let me get a whole sentence out before they're like, look, and now look at the next card because I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Empress, tell them that I'm innocent. I need you to relax. Bring it down a little bit. Okay. This is, you got too much. This is messy. You got too much shit going on. You know, it's really giving the energy of somebody who's loud and wrong. Right. A hit dog will holler. They hollering. Y'all might need to turn your volume down. They got me hollering out this beat. Somebody is mad. They are pissed the fuck off. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at the seriousness on this figure's face. They cannot believe what you're doing, how you're acting, how you're proceeding with this. You may appear to be holding it all together and they're not used to that. Okay. They are, they, they potentially have been waiting to hear from you. Okay. So I'm hearing a different storyline. So there's, there is potentially two different storylines here. You either ghosted this person. Okay. Left without a word. Ran for your life. Okay. Or they did. They may have abandoned this relationship. They may have abandoned you. That would have been that would have been a ploy to get you to run after them, to get you to miss them, to get you to question what is going on. That would have let them know that you consider them a, a constant, something that you need. Right. When I see the, the term community or the card community, I hear two different things. The first thing that came out is connectivity. Right. Feeling a closeness, feeling like. This is your person, right? This is somebody who you care about, right? You care if they're acting different, if they're doing weird stuff. You care about if they're okay. You care about if the two of you are okay. Are we still a thing? Are we still together? They were expecting these sorts of thoughts and they were expecting those thoughts to then transition into actions and the actions were supposed to be you running that away towards them. You're not running, are you? You're like, girl, if you don't get the fault. <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm just ask like, they are really crashing out. They feel like they didn't do anything wrong. And you're certainly doing this for a reason. Now, spirit is not giving me a specific reason as to why they would have gotten your ass to kiss or gotten abandoned or why you went cold on them. Because we do have ice cream right here. It's melting. Um, why this is no longer a thing. 
swiftly moving the other way, that way, aloof. Um, they're not giving me specifics. So to me, that signifies that the storyline could be different for all of you. But the one the one thing that is constant, that's your word, right? Ma'am, sir, breast is OK. The constant here is that they're running the fuck away and not towards you. And that is something that they can't wrap their brain around. Yeah. Elephants. Elephants are known for loyalty. <laughs> yeah. This elephant is just sitting like sitting on a beach ball or something. They feel like this is a walk in the park for you. You're on vacation. For some of you, maybe you are taking a vacation or they just feel like that's how easy going your energy is. Even if you're crashing out internally there, you know, Aquarians have this way of really keeping a good poker face. <sighs> I'm hearing Saturn. Aquarians are ruled by Saturn. This community card is now in the reverse. There's no more community between the two of you, okay? Um, there's a strong desire to protect yourself. Abandon this so you're not abandoning yourself. For some of you, you may view this relationship as a choice, right? You either abandon yourself for this person or you abandon this motherfucker for your real self. Like, that's how it, that's how it is? That's their question, not mine. That's how it is? So that's how it is? Yeah. So I get their cockiness leading them to not not run after you, not come after you, not speak to you, not say anything about it. If they're the ones that ghosted you, they've been waiting. Yeah. Abandon has dumped here. Yeah. Focusing on yourself. Right. That's not how this was supposed to go. Those are their words, not mine. Yeah, so I feel like this person does stuff specifically. It's a pattern for them. They don't show up this way. In fact, by the time they abandon someone in a relationship, the person has no choice but to come running back because they have they have rejected themselves for this person and by the time you reject yourself for a person and then they dip the fuck out like this you are lost you are you don't have there are no answers okay so instead of seeking answers within yourself because you have lost yourself and you can't see things clearly you automatically think not you but the people that they have dealt with prior to now this is a pattern for them they automatically think they need to go towards this person to fix it going towards the person that has hurt them in order to fix their broken heart the person that broke your heart is who you think is supposed to fix it that don't even sound right right and so now you're dealing with an Aquarius welcome Welcome, bitch, <laughs> because let me tell you something, it don't matter how good the dick was, it don't matter how good that pump was, it don't matter how fat that ass is, it don't matter how much money you got, it don't matter how much this, it don't matter, nothing matters when we get to this point. And Aquarius is never going to choose you over themselves. <laughs> it's not logical, you see. And what is this sign of Aquarius known for the most, right? We are the most analytical, the most logical. I mean, I might be a little bit biased, but I would even say the most intellectual. I said it. I said it. I said it, bitch. I said it. So, ma'am, sir, bro, sis, now I'm talking to your person. It was never going to be you over themselves. Like, that does, that's not smart. So they definitely thought you were stupid because if I keep stressing how analytical, how smart, how intellectual, how on point an Aquarius, it has to make sense. Hello? One plus one need to equal two. The math need to be mathing. It has to make sense. Logic, bitch. Head over heart. And so that's how I know if you rewind back to what I said in the beginning, they either they didn't they did not believe that you were smart, guys. I have to I have to say that. Right. Because they're now feeling like how how. <laughs> or maybe they did. They OK, here's the thing. For some of you, this person absolutely could see how smart you were, because that's one of the things that would have attracted them to you. Um but they just didn't think you were smarter than them or they just didn't think that you were smarter than this. 
this pattern of theirs. They're almost forming it like a web. So it's very hard for people to get out. I'm getting you didn't even go two cycles with this person. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I just heard specifically. This is built like a web. You're supposed to get stuck in it. And people often do get stuck. Keep in mind, this is a pattern. So they keep going introspection. This is what this illumination is about. Spirit is having this person look back to how people normally react to this behavior of theirs, to this manipulation, if you will. And it normally gets them stuck because it's built like a maze or it's built like a web. I'm sort of seeing like a spider web. You're supposed to get stuck in it. There's no way out. As soon as you think it's this way, there's another road to go. And then you turn that way and then there's more. Turn that way and then there's more. And that's all of the games and all of the, that's just, it's all a big puzzle. Not a pattern, a puzzle. So, yes, they could see how smart you were and how intellectual you were, but they just didn't think that you were this kind of smart, like this, like, like Rubik's Cube smart. <laughs> they didn't think you was like Rubik's Cube smart, bitch. Like what? Nobody ever gets away from this. Fantasizing. Can't stop my mind from escaping to a world only you and I know. And then we have only you, right? So you've captured this person's mind. You're living rent free in that bitch. And do you know why? Because you were unfazed by the level of game that they played. It did not phase you. Look at you over here smoking and shit. You, <laughs> you solved the Rubik's Cube. Now you over on the side smoking you a little blunt, having you a little drink, having a little meal, something. What else? Okay, what else is going on type shit? Very much so unbothered, unfazed, not touched. I also hear, so not touched, I'm hearing like a protective barrier. I feel like this person wished that they never met you. <laughs> I do. I do. I, I get them wishing that they never, um, not that they never tried you because they're still not getting it, right? They're only just now getting introduced to their, sa to their shadow self. Okay, and the things that need to be healed, their toxicities, because they kind of just, for it to be a pattern, a puzzle as a pattern, and they, they thought it was quite all right. It's always worked. It has always worked. Your life story hasn't yet unfolded. Yeah, so shit is about to change. They got very comfortable with the way that they engage romantically with the way that they engage in life in general but specifically with romantic partners okay um this is something that they never deemed to have to be changed it's something that has always worked for them and it's something that they felt would continue to work for them so now like i said there's a swift kick in the ass and i feel like it's starting with you taking over their mind hello I mean, all day, bitch, from the time they open their eyes to the time they close their eyes at night, when they're trying to have a meal, when they're trying to do their work, when they're trying to take a drive, when they're trying to talk to somebody else, when they're trying to fuck somebody else, there you are. Keep showing up. You're haunting them. They might be a little frightened. I'm not going to hold you. They may be a little bit scared. Yeah. If you were sexually active with this person, then of course they're fantasizing about the two of you sexually, but they're more so fantasizing about being themselves again. <laughs> okay, so they don't feel like themselves, like at all. They feel like a stranger to themselves. Like they're looking at um, a shadow of themselves, quite literally. Karma is whipping their fucking ass. And it's not just for you, it's for everyone. Okay. Yeah. We have low on resources, hibernation, so snow moons. Shit is getting real cold and dark on their side, you guys. This is about embracing change and renewal. It can also signify scarcity. So not having a lot of resources. And in terms of this reading specifically, the resources would be to hop up on a new dick. Okay, to hop up onto somebody else. I get everybody walking out the door and running at the same time. They have nothing. They have no, the well has run dry. You were the end of the road. The only one left in the web is them. 
and now they want out the web too and spirit is like yeah that's not how it really works bitch you created this web you don't get to just jump ship like somebody who's more protected such as your victims they want out so we have jupiter and this is a signifier of why this person would have leaned into this behavior over and over and over and over again they got lucky They've been very successful with the way that they treat people. They've been very successful with getting people stuck, right? Um, having people come back. Love sick. The term love sick to me is somebody who is not well, you know, who is not operating out of their highest self, who's not feeling their best, you know, who's feeling rather low and, and vulnerable and, um, not so high vibrationally, right? Self-esteem is on E. That's what I think of when I hear lovesick. And I see it right there. This is a shakedown. Okay. Yeah, this is a shakedown. That's what I'm hearing. They are trying to remain optimistic but like I said it's getting things are getting pretty fucking bleak and very unstable very uncertain see um, earth here earth element right but the house is in the reverse so there's no stability there's no security there's a scarcity mindset there's a fear of the future there's also this terrifying energy I have to be very honest you guys um for many of you, right? Especially if you're here with me, you're not only light workers, some of you, okay? Star seeds, chosen ones, and just very spiritually inclined, right? That's not to toot your horn, that's just the facts. They kind of fucked with the wrong one, you see, because them thinking that they were gonna get you stuck in this web was never gonna be a thing. They've been outsmarted and they've been outnumbered, okay? In terms of energy, right? This person works with energy, but they work with energy in a very toxic manner. They like to manipulate energy in a very toxic manner, right? In order to get people stuck. So now they themselves are stuck in this energy that they've cultivated for many of relationships prior to you. They went out and they're scared as fuck because they can't get out. Out. there's no out bitch there's no out this is your shit what you mean <laughs> right like this is literally yours there's no just out just because terrified now the laughing I'm just hearing this intuitively the laughing from the beginning could be some of you when what this person intended for you to do is what they actually start doing. <laughs> Chasing your ass, okay? You might actually laugh at this person. Not like laugh, ha ha ha, that's what you get, but like, you, you gotta be kidding me. You can't be fucking serious. So they're desperate and I get them sort of running away from this transition, away from this change, trying to avoid it like the plague. Um, this is something that they have become comfortable in. You see this behavior, this way of doing things and the change that they're being required to make. They don't necessarily know how that will end up, right? Like they don't know who they will be after it. And that's frightening to this person, especially somebody who hasn't done right by people. Ciao. We have the four of swords, queen of wands in the reverse, two of swords in the reverse. Everybody is decisive. Nobody is fucking with this person. They may have tried to run back to like a baby mama because Queen of Swords could be like the other woman or the other man type of thing. But I don't get that this is like a third party in the sense that they were with this person. I get that this is somebody who they were able to go back and forth to. Even that person is out. And that could also be something that has triggered sort of this frightened energy. They're not able to pull anybody new. They're not able to pull you anymore. Um, well, at all. <laughs> okay. There's no anymore. For a lot of you, I feel like there was only like they fucked up once and that was 
it, bitch, the house came crumbling down. Like, you are no nonsense right now. You're not really into second chances. You don't subscribe to that anymore. <laughs> if you went multiple cycles with this person, um, that's one thing, but I don't hear that for the majority of you. So just let me know down in the comments. I'm interested to know that portion specifically. There's somebody here that they tried to go back to. This person solidified for them that things will never, ever fucking be the same because this person always took them back. They always answered the phone or they always came to their rescue or they always, you know, was the rebound, something like that. Queen of Swords, I mean, Queen of Wands, a Aries, Sag or Leo. These are all in the reverse, by the way. Five of Cups in the reverse, see? And there's no re no remorse, no regret. I get this person still working very hard at being who they think that they are. And you're not that person anymore. Your life is changing, okay? This is a tower, bitch. Everything is being burnt to the ground. You no longer get to run amok. <laughs> Four of Pentacles. The Justice. The Wheel of Fortune. You see what I'm saying? Definitely karmic. This Four of Pentacles is in the position of what this person feels like the problem is. Okay? They feel like the problem is you became stingy. You changed. You shifted. You, you, you shook things up by retracting your energy. Even if they are the ones that suggested the separation or that initiated this separation or ghosting or moving apart, detaching from you. They still felt like they should be able to come back if they want to. That's just their M.O. Or they still felt like you should come back towards them. You should be trying to figure out what's going on with them or what's going on with the two of you. You should be more invested in that way. But instead, you pulled back. You became very stingy with your energy. Four of Pentacles is really like giving nothing. OK, holding on to everything. It's a balancing of the scales. This was fated to happen. And with the Wheel of Fortune here, they feel like the biggest problem is this is a positive change for you. Right. And in their eyes a negative change for themselves right this is clarity in terms of this version of themselves that they believed in this whole time see if you keep in if you keep in mind that this is somebody who's gotten away with this all this time and they still have people that they normally were able to go back to and now nobody is biting the bait nobody is willing to lay up with them nobody is willing to just help them pass time by Nobody is willing to stroke their ego to make them believe everything is going to be OK. They're sick as shit and scared. They are terrified, you guys. With the sun card, this is a, an epiphany like no other. So we have the five of swords. We have the three of cups and we have temperance. Knight of wands is at the bottom of the deck. I need you to protect yourself, okay? Um, this person is not gone just yet. Their energy is clearly still here. But there's more of a forewarning about the future of things, right? We have somebody coming in wearing a bit of a mask here, if I do say so myself, with this Three of Cups, right? This is more like, let's go out. Let's just be friends. Let's have a few drinks. Um, let's just kick it. Friends with benefits, right? Nothing too much. Um, but at the center, we have the five of swords and this is somebody who is battling with two different sides of themselves. OK, they're looking to put that off on someone else like destiny swap, if you will, or at least have somebody come along and join the ride with them. Join this karmic ride with them. This is not your karma to take on. But I see this person trying to make it that I see this person attempting to make it either somebody else's because we see I see them reaching out to somebody here, Queen of Wands. But I also see them reaching out to you. I see them desperately reaching out to multiple people. They can't find their grounding. Nobody is fucking with them. There is no security blanket here. <sighs> this is a lot. OK, it's too much for me. let's hop over to the extended. OK, let's see where this is going. I absolutely want to know where this person believes things are heading. I see the antics and what they're attempting to do. Where do you think this is going, actually? Huh? <laughs> right? Like, be so fucking for real. I also would like to know what 
are the shadows that the both of you needed to address. And this is the reason why things had to go down this way. More specifically, this is going to be the reason why it had to show up in your life. Knowing these shadows of your, of your own, because this could be mirrored, right? Um, will let you know why you had to encounter this person in the first place. It will also give you that silver lining of a lesson to learn so that you may elevate and be done with this. Um, let's see what karma the divine has in store for this person. We have the wheel of fortune that is karmic. And I've been hearing karma since we started the reading. What are the details, okay, of that kicking the ass by karma? We'll see their next steps and their intentions behind those next steps. The intentions will let us know if there has been a transformation, an awakening, or if they are changed, or if they're on the same old, same old, okay? Same dog, um, old dog, new tricks, okay? Same shit, different toilet, however you want to, however you want to phrase it. And then we will get the potential outcome. Whether you decide to stay or go, we will look at both. There is no judgment. Okay. We will then tap into what new love has to offer you. Okay. Who these new energies are coming in. I would like to know what spirit suggests you do in order to restore your optimism. Okay. Restore your vibrational frequency and make yourself invisible to all low vibrational and toxic energy so that you may successfully elevate out of this cycle and move on to the new and be able to see people clearly right be able to feel people's energy clearly be able to use that intuition clearly and only be encountering people who are actually qualified okay we will also see what blockages if any may prolong that elevation out of this cycle and what you need to do to release those asap we will then get into the details of this new person who they are the chemistry between the two of you and in the bedroom how will you potentially meet this person what are any red flags or deal breakers you need to know about why are they single yeah and then we'll get into the potential for longevity okay um, if you were to invest with this person, who are they in a relationship? Is it worth your while or should you just keep it moving and just focus on your coin? Right. We will also get advice. And one time for the one time, we will throw in our handy dandy ask the universe. Oops, ask the universe reading. I'll use this deck, OK, to get into some things and give you the floor to ask a couple questions. But I'll have more instructions for that over in the extended. So without further ado, guys, click that like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. Um, go follow us on TikTok and the link for the extended reading okay for those of you follow me over there we should all be going over there as one it's gonna be linked down below in the description box i'm gonna see y'all over there let's go